sometimes mods are just fun to play. But like kicking your pinky toe on a coffee table, does your day get ruined when you can't use them on a server? Well, boy, do I have the solution for you. Here is a list of client-side mods you can use on any server, which feels illegal to use on servers. But you don't let these elite capitalists tell you what to do, so you're going to use them anyway. But before using any of these mods on servers, check to see if they're allowed on the server and get permission to use them. Or the surfer might make you into an orphan and kick you out. Starting off, we got Item Borders. Item Borders is a lifty little mod that outlines your items in the inventory and your hotbar. The color of the outline will change depending on the rarity of the item. This is a subtle change that adds a ton of difference and makes it easy to find and sort certain items. This can be great for item sorting machines if you want to allocate items to rarity. You can also change the config file to have borders on all items, but common item borders are turned off by default. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why is your tooltip box different? That's because I'm using legendary tooltips. And let me tell you, this makes the tooltip box legendary. Each item tooltip now gets its own little border around it, which looks super nice, and some of them even have their own subtle little animations. And it even gives items pronouns by telling you if the item is decoration, weapon, or a miscellaneous item. This mod is perfect for anyone using themed mods or resource packs. Now, are you like me and have the IQ of room temperature? What if I told you there was a mod that told you how to do everything, and even gave you a little hotbar in the corner of your screen to showcase all items? Well, Just Enough Items is the perfect mod for anyone who forgot how to craft a block of wood. This gives you a list of all the items in the game and tells you how to craft them, even if you haven't unlocked it yet. It will tell you each way to make an item, including all of its different variants with different blocks. You can also find out about enchantment levels when enchanting any of your items, so you never leave your XP farms too early. Early, and it even tells you how to make each potion. This mod also works for any custom mob that includes custom items, weapons, food, decorations, anything to your heart's desire. So you will always know how to craft any item without having to unlock it first. Not Enough Animations is the perfect quality of life mod for your world. As you can see, climbing ladders now gives you a butt crack. <laughs> But please remove your eyes from my ass and look at how good the climbing animation is. And when you stop to look around, you will hold one hand on the ladder because you're a cool kid. When crawling, you now get a swimming animation, which looks great. There is now little arm movements when you go to use a crossbow or use a spyglass. These are subtle, but they look very good. When you reload the bow, the item in your hand now disappears and doesn't block your field of view. Swapping between maps or just putting a map in your hand gives a nifty little hand movement. And boy, the boats. Why isn't this a vanilla feature? Your arms move when you row your boat gently down the stream and when you turn you only move one arm so you can have uneven moving arms when you turn and start going forward riding horses gives you a little bucking animation to help give you the effects of chewing five gum and stimulating your senses and now when you put weapons out of your hand they sit on the side of your body which is a great little effect and i'd love to see this as a legging enchantment in vanilla minecraft sound physics remastered is a mod that majorly overhauls sounds making you feel more immersed in your world you hear the effects more when you're in caves underwater or in the nether so strap yourself in and listen to enhanced minecraft sounds Are you a player who uses a cape so you can feel like Superman? Well, Wavy Capes is the perfect mod for you. With this mod, your cape will get cloth physics. So now your cape will react to the world around you. You really are Superman now with your cape flowing in the wind. This mod works really well with physics both in the human land and on Avatar land, which for you normies means underwater. Capes move so flawlessly with this mod. Before I get into this mod, I just want to give a warning that if you suffer from severe motion sickness, these next few clips may make you feel a bit uneasy. So watch at your own risk. This video has chapters if you want to skip to the next mod. Do a barrel roll gives a huge overhaul to the elytra, so now you can fly around like you're in a fighter jet. There is no limits, and movements are now controlled with your mouse, and can fly gracefully around your world. You can do loop-de-loops with epic superhero landings, or just loops around the air. You can also do barrel rolls, which after a few can make you dizzy, but you will feel like a boss. And once you become the Michael Jordan of elytra flying, you can fly upside down and have the ground become the sky, and the sky become the ground. These new movements will take some practice to get used to, but you will have way too much fun using this mod and find it hard to uninstall. This is probably my favorite mod I've installed, and it's even client side, so you can use it on any server. But there is a chance it may not run as 
as smooth, and some anti-cheat systems on servers may think you're cheating, so use at your own risk or check with the server owners. Do you hate it when you just got your elytra and when you go to fly, you forget you have a chest plate on and fall to your death, but instead of meeting Jesus, you respawn and come back with the IQ of outside room temperature. And now when you jump off, you can swap between your chest plate and elytra with only using a simple hotkey. This is a super handy mod for anyone who uses an elytra all the time. Just make sure you set it to a hotkey you can remember easily, or you might fall to your death and lose all your stuff and I might laugh at you. As you can see, I set my hotkey to go off every time your mum feeds me a cookie. This mod is a simple yet great mod called Show Me What You Got. And if you are on a server and want to show off your newly enchanted weapon without dropping it, all you need to do is hover over your weapon and press Control T and it will add your weapon to chat for everyone to see. This works great for servers as you no longer have to drop items or meet up with people to show them off. And items can be shown in chat for everyone to see no matter where you are. And it works seamlessly around normal chat by being vanilla friendly and not looking too out of place. This mod will make it feel like you can enter the Olympics. Jump over fences gives you superhuman strength so you can now jump onto fences. Go on other days of needing a piece of carpet to get onto a fence. Now you can simply jump onto any fence with no issues. This also works for walls and gates. And you can also jump 1.5 blocks high by stacking a slab on top of the fence. But this will be the max limit you could jump. This is a mod to help out you silly little gooses out there. Merchant Makers gives a little icon above villages with a trade, so you can identify with which villages you can trade with and identify which trades each villager has. So now you don't have to wander around like a dumbass interacting with each villager to find the villager you need. We all know the vanilla advancement menu looks as good as Donald Trump's orange turkey flap on his neck. Well, with better advancements, it gives you a bigger advancement screen, so now you don't have to scroll through to find your advancements. They all fit on the screen, making them easier to find and more appealing to look at. After sneaking into a villager's house and punching him while he sleeps. You go over and raid a chest only to see there is now a little animation when picking up items. Tiny item animations is a subtle client side mod that gives a little more life to your inventory by making items move a little bit when they are picked up. This isn't a huge change but it's a great little addition for anyone who spends a lot of time in inventories, enchanting or smelting items. Crafting tweaks brings some new buttons to the crafting table and saves you time when you need to craft two stacks of buckets so you can do it in record time. There are three little buttons on the side of your crafting table each with their own little time saving feature. One to rotate your items around the crafting table, one to spread the items evenly around the table, and one to remove all the items from the table. And for the right people, this could be a great mod. Villagers are real people too, so let's install a mod that gives the villagers names. This mod has a list of over 9,000 names. Vegeta is shaking in his boots right now. These names can generate for all villagers in your world, so now you can easily remember what villagers have the traits you want by looking at their names. And come on, kids aren't named Gladys. Anyone named Gladys is just spawned as an adult. You can also go through the config files and add in your own custom villager names to add some spice to your world. You can even find the villager named Karen and give her the ever heard 1-2 combo and smack her with your hoe. And I bet you're wondering why Karen's name went red. And it's not because she's angry. It's because of a little mod called Name Pain. And if you go to the annual village meetup, you can commit Grand Arson and make a village full of orphans. And if you pause it at the right time, you can see this floating meat sack. His red name tag indicates he is floating to meet Jesus. But as you can see, Floria has a red name tag, and she survived. So here is a little present. Name Pain is an indicator for mobs' health. The more damage they take, the darker the red gets. This is a great indicator for your pets. If you can see their name is getting red, feed them and heal them back up to full health. This would also be handy on servers with your mates, so you know if they are one shot or not. And it works well if you manage to slap a name tag on hostile mobs to see how much of a flogger they have left. Mob Plaques is a great mod that displays the health of any mob above its head, but it does it in a subtle way that looks very clean. With shaders on, you can notice it more at night, and it looks great. It's also super accurate with the health levels as well and it also shows armor level so you know what mobs to use better weapons on this works on all entities including sea creatures the warden the wither and even the ender dragon and it also fits in very well with any mobs that have name tags so the text doesn't overlap and this is also a client side mod so you can use it on any server that you like so now you can tell your friends that mob is one shot even when he has full health easy villager trading is for you lazy people like me now trades are done with one click to get the trade done simple and easy and no longer needing to drag the items into the slot 
lot. You can also shift click to trade your whole stack of items in one click. Now that's what I call efficiency. Sometimes hitting F5 isn't good enough, unless it's for a Minecraft intro. These two mods, better third person and camera utils, give the freedom of what I imagine Mojang feels when letting the community make their game good. You now get full camera customization in third person with sliders from camera utils, and it's super customizable. So you can mimic the view of your favorite FPS game by adjusting the sliders to sit the camera anywhere your heart desires. So you can always get a look at this thick view. You can even detach the camera to leave it in one spot and watch yourself commit village war crimes or just take a selfie. And the normal zoom function is controlled by scroll wheel, so you can zoom in as far as you want. Better third person offers free camera movement so you can easily see behind or beside you when running. This is definitely a mod that should be in vanilla Minecraft and makes exploring a whole lot more enjoyable and a lot more free. Just look at how much better it is when riding around on horses in the wild. I have more freedom than America. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you place a sign and you notice you typed a letter wrong after you finish it? Or having to place down the same sign a hundred times? Well, Sign Tools gives you the freedom to copy and paste from signs, so you no longer have to type out the same sign over and over again, making it super easy to make custom signs or decorate your mate's house in signs. You can also edit the signs by changing the row you type in, moving the row up or down after you've typed it, and even copy and paste certain rows and move them around. This is a simple mod that can make such a big difference to save some frustration. Oh, and it's client side, so you can use it on any server in any way you you like. Physics mod is an insane mod that feels illegal to be a client side mod, but you can bet your sweet daddy's left nut this is a client side mod. And I'm gonna run this on the Neo Network server to prove you wrong. Breaking blocks gives you a particle effect just like real life, but wear shoes so you don't get splinters. Items even get physics and lay on the ground like your pet goldfish out of water. Mobs get ragdoll effects when they die, so their lifeless bodies can fly around in the wind. You can obtain a soccer ball, or in this case a baby villager, and play soccer with the local village kids to see who can kick the ball the furthest. Watching mobs fly in the wind is a great way to pass the time. Doors move smoother than Michael Jackson when he was a criminal. And the wind physics are great. The way banners and cloth smooth are just like butter. And grass and sugar cane flop around more than the boys locker room. Whoa, whoa, baby zombie. Hey, I'm trying to record a video here. You can now make snow tracks in the snow so you never get lost when exploring and it makes it feel like real life. And oh my god, you can feel like Captain Jack Sparrow sailing your boat through waves bigger than your mum. You can adjust the waves to be calm or high. And sailing around the seven seas in high waves is so fun. But sailing through calm water is more relaxing. There is also little ripple effects in the water when you move because attention to detail. You can also adjust and change these settings to freely suit the world you want and to be able to suit your computer. Some of these features are only available in the page version of physics mod via patreon but they are well worth it and keep getting new additions all the time and do you know what else gets new additions watching the video that youtube recommended you you can find great new mods to add to your world to have fun with yourself or with your friends on servers so give it a click and i'll see you legends in the next video